Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I've been dying to get into this box, but it's from Kentastic Cakes. It's a Taste of Home cake crate, and that's what the box looks like. And it's called a Taste of Home um, cake crate, and it is $40 per month, and you receive... A, a cake in a cup, four cake pops, three to six baked fresh baked cookies, depending on the type and size, it would be three to six, plus one mystery item per box. And you receive all that, plus free, the, um, the shipping is included in that price. And it's all made from scratch. Um, so this is my first one and I have been dying to get into this box. So um, I wanted to record it today and I will post it. Today is Monday. So I'll post it either today or tomorrow for Christmas Eve. But I wanted to post that so that I can, so that um, if you have any last minute Christmas gifts to do, this would be an excellent idea. Um, they do have one, three, um, one, three, six, and 12 month plans available. Um, and if you use code boxes and deals 10, I'll put that up here as well as, and in the description, but if you use boxes and deals 10, you can get 10% off your first subscription. So it says, congratulations. You are the lucky recipient of a monthly subscription called a taste of home cake crate by Cantastic cake. And by the way, they do make custom cakes as well and cupcakes and cake pops that you can order um, outside of a subscription. A Taste of Home Cake Crate provides you with a reminder of home with freshly baked homemade treats from Fantastic Cakes Kitchen. We create all our items from scratch, just how it should be. Each month, you will receive a slice of cake, cake pops, cookies, and a mystery item. Random recipients will receive a surprise gift in their crate. And just because you can't be at home doesn't mean you can't have a taste of home. We love pictures. If you like what you got, please consider sharing a picture to our Facebook or Instagram at Contastic Cakes. So I'm excited to see what we got. And this is the December crate. They ship out on or around the 20th of each month. Um, I believe if you subscribe after the 10th of the month, you will receive the following month's crate. Um, and something is tickling my nose right now. Excuse me. I have my napkin ready. <laughs> I have my food, uh, my fork and spoon ready. Um, so yes, this will be a tasting as well. Christmas vanilla cake with eggnog buttercream. Okay. So let's get in because it describes what's in the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's packed very well, so things aren't moving around in there. And I'm going to pull out the cake in a cup first. And it is gorgeous. Look at that. That is very festive. And this looks delicious. Oh my goodness. And it is a Christmas vanilla cake with eggnog buttercream. And it has the ingredients, flour, sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, salt, baking powder, milk, vanilla extract, eggnog extract, and butter. So that's awesome that they included in the ingredients as well. And let me get my spoon ready. And it's, the lid's taped on there really well. And it's full to the brim. Look at that. <laughs> And I've got my cup of coffee ready too for in between each bite. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This needs to be a candle. <laughs> All right. Oop, that's a big bite. Let's see here. That's falling off my lap. This is the first time I've ever eaten anything on camera, so. <laughs> mm. mostly the vanilla which is amazing 
and then that hint of the eggnog comes out and with the cinnamon mm. and then that's coming out more I need another bite <laughs> mm. it's the perfect balance between the frosting and the cake I will I'll say this right now I'm not a big frosting fan. I used to make cakes. I did Wilton courses and so I usually take the frosting off but this I have to say it just blends with a cake perfectly and it's moist and um I'm taking another bite before I get into the rest of that stuff. <laughs> mm. And the flavor just blends so well and I'm getting a runny nose. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need a drink of coffee now. That is delicious. And yeah, I don't usually like frosting. That's delicious. Yum. Okay. Perfection. Now this looks like the cookies and I think yes so this is oh it looks like the oh this is both so this is the cookies and the mystery item and we'll do the cookies first I actually saw um so I'll include his Instagram as well and a lot of times they'll show pictures and sneak peeks of what's coming. And I saw them slicing these and it just looks delicious. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. What are they called? These are pinwheel cookies. The ingredients are flour, sugar, butter, egg, salt, sprinkles, and food color. I can open it. Alright, and there are four of these. Let me show you the sprinkles. It feels soft. I like soft cookies. Mmm, it smells like um, buttery shortbread. Mmm. It melts in your mouth. It doesn't have a flavor, but it doesn't need one. I will say though, the mystery item is infusing into it a, just a hint. And it actually is perfect because it's peppermint. So there's just a hint of peppermint from the mystery item next to it. But it's just, it melts in your mouth. It's like a buttery, um, reminds me of a buttery softer shortbread. I'm not big on regular shortbread because they're crunchy and dry to me. And this is not, this is like a buttery melt in your mouth shortbread not crunchy and it's perfect it's delicious i like my sweets so this box is perfect for me <laughs> it has i can't believe it actually stayed unopened for two days because we were we had a super busy weekend and it stayed unopened but i was dying to get into it <laughs> all right next so the mystery item is chocolate peppermint bark and the ingredients are milk chocolate, white chocolate, peppermint extract, and peppermint candy. So we've got the um, dark chocolate pieces, or milk chocolate, excuse me, and the white chocolate pieces. Yumminess. All right, so I'm going to taste both. I want more of that cookie. <laughs> All right, milk chocolate.
Mm. Yum. And white chocolate. And it's not... They, in my opinion, they added the perfect amount of peppermint. Um, I don't like candy canes by themselves, but I love like peppermint mochas, peppermint flavored stuff. Um, and this is the right amount of peppermint that you can still taste the chocolate and not be overpowering with the peppermint because that can be easy to do. So perfect blend, I think. If you don't like peppermint, then that'd be another story, but these are delicious. And like I said, since they were in the same container with the cookies, they're both wrapped in plastic though, so it didn't infuse too much, but just a hint of peppermint in there, which I think is perfect. All right. And last, so the peppermint bark was the mystery item. Then we get four cake pops and they're packaged so nicely. And these are, um, Ooh, gingerbread. Yum. Gingerbread cake pops with flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, Buttermilk, butter, vanilla extract, ginger, clove, apples, oh my goodness, cinnamon, brown sugar, and milk chocolate. Ooh, these sound amazing. If I can open it up. So there's two of each. Um, I mean, they're all gingerbread, but they decorated them. So cute. I'll open this one. So they have two with the sprinkles like that and then two with the little holly decorations. Which is super cute. So there's that. Very cute. All right. I need a drink of my coffee first to clear the palate. Mm. Okay. Here it goes. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Give me a minute. Mm. okay it's hard to say I have a favorite because everything in here is absolutely delicious and this gingerbread though look you can tell from there how moist it is and I only use that word for cake <laughs> but it is so delicious and that it's, it doesn't taste like, um, oh, I don't, you know, like a cake mix gingerbread? No, not at all. Mmm. I can't even put that one into words. It's it's like the softest, dense um, gingerbread. Better than any gingerbread. Better than any gingerbread cookie. It's oh my gosh, that is yummy. I might have to order some of those. 
I don't know if they have those ones. Um, I know they had a list of flavors of cake pops as well as cookies and cupcakes. They have a whole bunch. Um, like I said, you can do the custom cakes. One second. I'm going to be on a sugar rush now, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll look and see if they have the gingerbread flavors still available, um, to order. I don't know. They might ha already be, um, that might've been a seasonal one that would have had to been ordered by the 20th, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll be sure if I find out, I'll be sure to include that information for you. Because if you don't get the box, the box, I think, is worth it. Um, and your first box would be $36 with the code boxes and deals 10 and that includes shipping. And I can't even, I know shipping for a box like this would be pretty expensive. So $36, including shipping, it's all homemade, scratch made, made from scratch. Um, the cup and a cake, the cake and a cup is enough to share probably three people could eat that the cake pops there's enough for four people um the cookies there's there was four cookies there's the pe peppermint bark um I mean there's enough in here there there's right now there's five of us here in my household and there is enough plenty in this box for us all to enjoy for sure so this would be an excellent gift for somebody, It would for a family. It would be um, great for if you have it shipped to yourself and you wanted to give some to coworkers um, and just kind of hand it out, take it to work. That would be a fun, I think this would be a fun office gift as a monthly subscription. How fun would that be? Another idea would be for military that's a way from home or college students that are away from home. I mean, how amazing would a treat like this be to get every month and that it would just last for, you know, I'm sure it would last a good week if they put it in the fridge even longer. So this would be a nice treat for um, military, college students, office, anybody. So just some ideas and I thought I would share. I was so excited about it that I had to share. <laughs> and um, I think it was the perfect time before, right before Christmas. But if you all like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Um, what would, what of these items sounded the most delicious to you? And um I I just had a thought, but I'll um I'll think about this some more. I just had an idea, but I'm not gonna share that yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think on that one. All right. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and you all have a wonderful rest of your holidays. If you don't celebrate the holidays in of any sort, then have a wonderful rest of your December and year. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.